Welcome to Weld.com. <clears throat> I want to run off a new machine today, Everlast MTS-221. I want to run some straight beads. I want to play around with the TIG feature on DC today just to, just to see how things are set up. Foot pedal, pure argon, 20 to 25 cubic feet per hour. Actually, 15 to 20 cubic feet per hour is what I want to run. I got a number seven cup, 332nd E3 tungsten. Uh, I believe I've got about 135 amps on here. I want to do a couple of beads. I want to do a fillet weld, both with 332nd filler wire, ER70S6. And I want to put a cap and some quarter inch that we've, we did a MIG route playing around setting the machines up. So I just want to see how things are going to run here and on this uh, setup. First time we've run it. So let me get my sleeves and hood on. I'll be right back. Stop it. Make me nervous with that. I'm giving this a test run here. Things to be pretty smooth. Got a little bit of puddle wander. I'm right out on the corner of that plate though, not alarmed with it. Got a first run in here. Uh, beads seem to be running there pretty smooth. I want to run a couple more beads and blend them together. It's what we do on any process when we're starting out. I'm going to do a couple of more different. I'm going to do a, a fillet weld here in a second and a groove weld just to play around. But this seems to be pretty nice so far. Got a couple of beads blended together. They look pretty, pretty nice. Everything runs pretty smooth. <clears throat> I do have a little button of something on the end of my tungsten. Not sure what I did to get that or deserve it. So I'm gonna go clean this tungsten up. We'll come back and run a fillet weld real quick. See how that goes. Be right back. I increased my amperage up to 170, increased my stick out a little bit on my tungsten, it's out to about 3 eighths of an inch, comfortable with that, trying to film back in here in the fillet weld. For those of you who are watching that subtle technique, <clears throat> we got about a quarter of an inch away from the end of that and started decreasing the amperage, adding filler wire and then pulled back through so that we don't blow that corner up at the end of the weld. Those of you that know me well enough know that I don't like blowing up corners and creating that undercut back there. I'm going to fill up a groove with a couple of passes. The first rod I'm going to use is a 332nd. I am going across a MIG weld. I hope that it doesn't pop and explode from something in it. It shouldn't. 
my luck it will the edges are looking a little squirrely has nothing to do with the machine it has everything to do with the material I'm welding on just trying to get a little feel going here leave it full but not get into my bevels machine is very responsive to my foot pedal Had a little glass floating on here, and I believe that was from the MIG weld. Not a lot, but I noticed it right on the edge. I'm gonna buff this off before I put another pass over the top of this, try to cap it off. I don't wanna walk, I just wanna kinda hand manipulate in there. Dab it in, so to speak. Switch to an eighth inch wire just to see what's going to happen here. My goodness, my fingers are getting warm. Okay, I finished this up and it came out nice and flat and I expected it to. <clears throat> I'm gonna run some more and do some walk in the cup and do some plate and pipe welds and everything. This is part one of about everything that this machine's gonna handle. There's a lot of stuff on this interface over here. Uh, AC, DC, pulse in both of those, MIG, TIG, stick. So there's a lot to do on this machine here. I, I just wanted to run some simple TIG here just to start out. I really like this fillet weld over here. I like to run in the beads. This thing acted pretty nice, so. Thanks for watching Weld.com, Bob Moffat with Cali College. Say when. And the crowd goes wild. Yay! <laughs>